with us, Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to a sold-out boardwalk hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Our main event should be a good one tonight. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. We are looking forward to this fight, especially after seeing what happened at the weigh-in yesterday. A stare down that nearly resulted in a bout breaking out right there. Now they get to do it for real. Butterbean's had this experience so many times, and success has always come on the back end of these ring walks. It's his focus at this moment that delivers it. Mike Tyson's got his eye on the prize. Look at that focus and determination during his ring walk. Scheduled for 10 rounds tonight between these two. Mike Tyson's able to avoid that punch. We've sat through thousands and thousands of fights together ringside. And sometimes you can tell just from the start, like a fight like this, of what you're going to see down the road. And what you're not going to see. You're not going to see a lot of guys running. You're not going to see a lot of defense. You're going to see two guys coming and letting it all lay out. Two good jabs by Mike Tyson. <laughs> so the early action here in this fight should reveal an edge. Tyson's got speed. He can move. Well, they say speed kills. He better just be careful he doesn't have an accident. He doesn't get reckless with that speed. Landing a two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Butterbean's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Oh, good exchange there. Targeting a left hand down low. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Look at the mess in the ring right now. Butterbean's cut is just painting himself red. Yeah, it's a good thing. At least we think that judges are not influenced by the way a fighter looks. Because if they were, no rounds are going in his favor. Tyson's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Ten seconds to go in this round. He scored well after being hit himself. And that's the end of round one. Let me paint this picture for you. You got to figure out a strategy, and your fighter's down to one eye. Well, I hope that he read some history books. Boy, he watched a movie named 300. You saw that movie, oh, didn't yeah. you? Great yeah. movie about the Spartans where they were outnumbered, and they had to get the terrain right to fight the fight. They had to get into the mountains where the greater forces, the great army, could not be the great army. They could not get in there and battle where they could take advantage of their superior forces. That's what he's got to do. He's got to move the fight into a part, a portion of the ring where he will not be vulnerable on that side. Mike Tyson's showing you a little defensive skill there. I don't move away from that punch. There he is zoning in, the old one-two. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Flush right hand to the head. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. How about that? Another right hand. Look at the accuracy with that hook upstairs. Halfway through round number two. Butterbean's right hand scores well that time. Putting his punches together, landing two shots there. 
Good work defensively by Mike Tyson. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Tyson's putting a smile on his corner man's face right there and frustrating his opponent with that jab. Solid uppercut. Butterbean's left, landing well. Ten clicks of the top. Nice. Tyson's mouth is cut. You can see it's getting worse as things progress here. That could be a factor later on. And that's the end of round two. Listen, he's a veteran guy. He knows the truth of the situation. That's a really bad cut. The kind of cut that can end the fight. Yeah, he has a gamble right now. You know, just got a last call in the casino. They just said, you know, you got three more rolls of the dice. He's got to roll him. He's got to blow on him. He's got to do everything. If you want this fight, you got to stay busy out there, all right? Because you're losing this. And round number three is underway. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Tyson's cut is really a mess right now, and it could jeopardize this fight for him right here. Teddy, is there blame that needs to be placed on his cut man? Could he have done more? Well, really, this trick could be in a... Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Oh! Oh, and he goes down. First knockdown tonight. Butterbean's corner needs to really get to their man after this round. They need to treat him after that knockdown. They also need to give him some sound advice. What's the advice you give? Well, first of all, if they're going to get the chance to get to him, he better move his head. But the advice I would give him is, hey, you go out this next round and you kill some time. Tie him up a little bit right from the beginning. Don't worry about losing the early part of the fight or the early part of the round. Just get yourself back together. Butterbean's taking a lot of punishment. Maybe too much punishment for an experienced referee like the one we have in there today to just keep on watching. Yeah, you would expect him to be ready to do his job. Sometimes the job is to keep them fighting, you know, to make sure they break. Sometimes it's to stop the fight. I think it's that time now. Gets rid of that effort. Wow! And for the second time tonight, he goes down. One, two, three, four, five. Butterbean's showing you what he is made of, getting up off the canvas after being knocked down. Tyson's right hand scores well. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Good looking combo by Mike Tyson. That is a strong uppercut there. A little head hunting with the right. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Effective with that. Great round now, back and forth after he did the... Look at that! Well, we've seen Mike Tyson act a lot like this before. Remember, he once rose up off the canvas against Buster Douglas, only to be floored again. One, Can he do it here? Two. Five, three, deep breath. Get some water. You good? All right? Breathe. Good. Now listen, you threw a wide punch out there and he caught you. I know you. Keep boxing. Doing great. You're making it hard for him to hit you. There you go. Well, he's up three rounds to zip on Teddy's scorecard here as we start round number four. He's a volume puncher, and that's exactly what he's doing to bank away these early rounds here, Teddy. Yeah, he's not hurting him with any of those shots. And quite honestly, a lot of them are missing. But the other guy's not staying up with him with the punch numbers. He's winning the round. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. 
Butterbean's making for a very inviting target right now. You can see the blood around that eye. The cut is obviously worse than it was just moments ago. So many areas where it serves you. I mean, it sets up your punches. It sets up your offense, but it controls your defense. Keeps a guy at a certain distance. Gives the guy something to think about. Just the most basic thing in the world. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wisps, the old great Willie Pep. Made a miss, in made a pay. In and out. That's a big right hand. He turned things around. Oh, and there you go. Well, he's been there before, and now he's there again. He got floored. He can't afford to keep going on that floor. You have to wonder when the referee's going to step in now and stop this. He gets up after that punch, put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Mike Tyson. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Tyson's got a real problem on his hands now, Teddy. I think the cut is actually worsening around his eye. He has to do a better job of watching out for that. He has to protect that eye. Yeah, what he has to do now is give his corner man, his cut man, a chance for his work to be accomplished. In other words, there's been coagulants, chemicals put into that eye. Now the fighter has to move a little bit, be elusive, and allow those chemicals, those medicines to work. Caught you with your hands down. Box smart, not get caught. Box smart. Butterbean's coming off a round in which he was shook up really bad. He hit the canvas again. He needs things to change. Basic boxing, and it works so well. Put your punches together. A good combo by Mike Tyson. Butterbean's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. He scores with the jab there. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Butterbean's going to think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good, solid counter. Butterbean's thinking right now that he's doing a good job defensively, but it's really not the case, Teddy. Every so often, you will see a punch split that guard. Yeah, he's just standing there. First of all, the gloves, he needs to extend them just a little bit away. So as you said, those punches, you know, aren't going to force their way through to the target, which they're doing right now. They're getting down to him. They're getting through to him. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Halfway into round number five here. Little head hunting with the left. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. There he is from long range using that jab. So if you're on the outside, say at a picnic, you want to keep those insects away, you use insect repellent. Or you're on the outside as a fighter, you want to keep your opponent away, that jab, that's the way to go. Butterbean's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. And that does it for this round. What you're seeing in here with these two guys, cut up, swollen, going back and forth, this is why people love the fight game. Because they say to themselves, I couldn't do that. I couldn't fight on. You're exactly right. If you opened up Webster's Dictionary and you looked for the definition of a warrior, this is exactly what you would want to see. Good accuracy with that uppercut. 
Butterbean's in a tough spot right here. He's going to be swallowing blood. You can see blood coming. Big, big shot he just scored with. He is floored by that combination. Absolutely floored. Come on! One, get to your feet! Two, three, four, stand, five, stand, stand. six, seven, eight. Hurry, get up! So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But, Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Butterbean's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Little head knocking with that right hand. Butterbean's failure to get away from his opponent's right hand is really the difference in this fight. Yeah, it is. He continues to get hit with the same punch. Needs to slip to the left. He's Where's going around now, Teddy, like his legs are made out of wet noodles. Yeah, and my mother was boiling the water because she used to make sure that that water boiled. He is not in good shape. He could be... Oh, that's gotta hurt. Unable to handle that combination. He is down on the canvas. One, two, three, four. The ref stops the fight. Mike Tyson's power just much too much for his opponent. Another knockout for him. By knockouts, your winner, Mike Tyson's fitting end to a very strong nightmare.